All right, what's up, guys? Um, unfortunately, I didn't have enough people uh, enter the contest to actually do the bingo elimination thing I wanted to do. So instead, I'm just going to, you know, draw out of a hat. So uh, whoever wins, you have uh, a week to claim whether you want to do box A, which is going to be Marvel, B, which is going to be DC, or C, which is going to be um, uh, G.I. Joe. So, um, yeah, so here we go. So we're going to find out who the winner is. And the winner is... What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're taking a look at a Spider-Man statue, but this one's a little bit different. This one is, I believe they call it, they pronounce it soft vinyl, I believe. So it's like, as you guys can see right here, a massive soft vinyl figure. So it's a little bit different. Uh, I was kind of interested in this guy, uh, just based on the look of him alone. But, uh, but anyway, that's enough of that. Let's take a look at the box. So you got a cool picture of Spider-Man right there. As you can see, this is the black suited version. Really cool. Then you got that in the back there. The spidey eyes. And some of his hand. And the top says soft vinyl. But, alright, so I've, I, I've heard a lot of mixed things about um, these soft vinyls. So, um, we'll see what happens. Let's open this guy up. All right, and we're back. So we got him out of the box. Now, first impression, this thing looks fantastic. It reminds me a lot of the Marvel vs. Capcom video game. Like, it looks like that's the aesthetic they use, the, the body type there. Very muscular. And even, like, the pose reminds me a lot from that video game. But here's the thing. The impression is, first of all, how light this thing is. Uh, it, it's, it's an extremely light... So we'll give you guys like a quick look at the, uh, the um, you know, turn them around here so we can get a quick look at him. Now, obviously, this is the black suited version. So we got him. Okay, so there you go. That's a quick 360 look at the, at the figure himself. I'm now going to take this out of the way and we're going to get a better look. So up close, you got the eyes, which is really nice. It's got like a light blue tint to it. The very thick black outline there you got the i like how the web on the costume is like a white outline like i said you got the muscular tone very muscular hands i mean he looks really cool he's almost got like a silver that's the symbol but he's almost got like a silver black on him like it's almost like this is like a silver color as opposed to the venomized black Really nice. Okay, I'll show you the other hand. There we go. Yeah, like I said, I really like the look of him. Um, I really like the, the look. I like the pose. The, like I said, that something about that black is really cool. It's almost like a cloud... I don't know, man, like a, like a grayish silver look to it. It's, it's, it's neat. I mean, it's different. Usually the black suit of Spider-Man is a, like a darker black in my opinion. Like I, I feel like this, you know, the costume is usually more black, if that makes any sense to you guys. But um, whereas with this, they seem like they kind of went a little bit lighter. They went with more of a gray look. So you can almost say that this is like a gray suited Spider-Man, to be honest with you. Um, but, you know, I, I still really like it. I still think it looks cool. It's a very, like, metallic look on the costume, which is nice. I hope that's coming across on the camera there. One thing that's kind of a bummer, you can kind of see, like, some of the connections here, like that. Can you guys see that? There we go. Yeah, see, that's kind of a... That kind of sucks a little bit. And even, like, here, like, you can see it's, like, multiple pieces that they put together. I mean, very minor nitpick, in my opinion. But, you know, if I see it, I'm going to point it out to you guys so you guys can kind of decide for yourselves if you're on the fence about buying one. 
see like there's a little bit more right there but I mean I don't know I think I still think he looks pretty good man you know I still think he looks great I'm gonna I'm gonna put him back on here so we can get a better look at him total so like I said uh, my final thoughts on him I think he looks awesome I think I really like the metallic look they kind of went with like a more of a gray silver metallic as opposed to just like a uh, a pure black look which I mean you you're either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it I mean I, I, me personally I do like it I do wish it was more of the actual like black like venom black that we used to but that's okay um I really like I, the, the pose like I said the pose and the look is very uh, Marvel versus Capcom to me which is a great game so I'm okay with that the thing I'm not really thrilled with is um like i said some of the connection pieces you can see them and kind of the price point to be honest with you too like th this retails for about that 150 range i want to say it's like anywhere from 140 to 150 160 um this piece looks great and it it's really you know it's something that pops if you were to put them on the shelf i just think the price is a little high i mean that that could just be me i mean let me let me know what you guys think down below i feel like this piece more at the 100 dollars would have been more accurate you know what i mean like at that 150 point you're competing with companies like um iron studios and, uh, and actually, to be honest with you, even at the $80 price point, you're competing with companies like Cotabakia, which is a really, really good company. So if you're going to put your product within that price point from like 80 to 150, your competitors are companies like Iron Studios and Cotabakia, which in my opinion are pretty good companies, especially Cotabakia. I love their paint apps. I love the way that they design things. Um, they just do a really good job. So you're pretty much trying to keep you know go toe to toe with that type of company and like i said as cool as this is and as much as i really like this thing i i just i feel like i feel like it's more at that hundred dollars now you might sit there and say well respawn this is technically a figure those other two companies you just named are statues and you're right those other two companies are statues but at the 150 point if you want to look at figures you're also looking at big figure companies too i mean you got companies like neca quarter scales for about 120 dollars 100 to 120 dollars uh you got companies like um mezco and um and hot toys within that like 150 to 200 range and don't forget those come with a bunch of accessories and they come with uh you know you can pose them any way you want some of them come with real cloth so that's all i'm saying is that once you raise you once you raise your price or i should say once you put your price at a certain point you are competing with other companies collectors like me are going to look at your product and we're going to compare it to other companies and we're going to say you know at that price point could i get you know such and such a figure or such and such a statue from other companies that are going to be better or maybe even cheaper um so that that's that's the only thing i could say is that I think for that price, that like 140 to 150 range, I look at this piece and I think he looks fantastic, but I'm just saying at that price point, I can't help but feel that I could have gotten myself a quarter scale, um, like a quarter scale NECA figure, you know what I mean? Or a um, Iron Studio Spider-Man or something, you know what I mean? Uh, and like I said, it's extremely light. I'm, I'm, I wasn't joking about it. It is really light. So, do I regret buying this? No, I do not regret buying this. But I just wish it was cheaper. Like I said, the hundred dollar price point is where this guy belongs. Honestly, maybe even at the eighty dollar price point, I think he's overpriced. Personally, um, but then again, I don't make figures, so I, I don't know what to say. Like I said, um, I I just I just look at the price and I look at the product and I say. At this price point, I could have also gotten, um, you know, like a NECA figure for like 50 or 60 bucks. Um, I could have gotten a Kota Bakia statue for, you know, 80 to to $100. And Iron Studios for like $1 to $150. And you typically wouldn't see things like, you know, the, the connection here. 
here, especially here, here. You know, you wouldn't see stuff like that. Uh, and they wouldn't be vinyl figures. This is a vinyl figure. You know what I mean? That's the other thing, too. You got to remember, those statues are also, uh, you know, made of other materials, like poly resin and whatnot. So this is a vinyl figure. This is almost like having, I don't know, I, I, I mean, I guess, isn't a Funko Pop technically a vinyl figure, too? So that's all I'm saying. He looks great. He's awesome. Um, I do like him. I just think that it's a little overpriced. You know, I, I would just say, if you're a huge Spider-Man fan, then this is definitely something different to add to the collection. That's kind of pretty, you know, that's pretty cool looking. But if you're not a huge Spider-Man fan, maybe wait for a sale. And if you're not, like, a big Spider-Man fan at all, then I would just let this one go. I would not grab this one because um, this is my personal opinion. I mean, like I said, I, I like it. I'm going to put it on the shelf. I think he looks cool. I just think he's a little overpriced. But anyway, so that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, take care. Ben. Remember, you got a week, okay? So uh, put a comment down on this video, you know, which box you want, and uh, we'll go from there. Later.